whimsical things are always beautiful. They're positive things. They're not negative things. I've been an active artist for about 60 years. I always have to have a project. If it's maintaining a home or maintaining a garden or painting, doing fairy houses, it's an outlet. say it's about two years ago. I was going through the channels and I noticed there was a cartoon and the backdrop for the cartoon was this wonderful little village and I thought it would be fun to create that in my garden. The reason I went for pottery is that my sister is a very accomplished potter. Now square your pieces up right away. Yeah. So that would be after you've pushed everything together? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I was a professional potter. My studio was called Ash Creek Pottery and it was open to the public for 36 years. We have different skill levels because of the time that we've spent in the medium that we are familiar with and that the other one has something to learn from each other. So I couldn't have done it without her. What she wanted to do was beyond a beginner's skill level. I was teaching her how to handle the clay, coming up with ways of reimagining the materials that I normally work with in order to make them look like building materials. Some of them look like they're thatched roofs, houses that were put together with straw and then they put clay on the outside. Each one is unique because I was experimenting. The designs evolved as I felt I became better at putting them together. Knowing Edna as I do, I knew it wouldn't stop at one or two. <laughs> Once I started, it was like eating peanuts. You just can't stop. One leads to another and then Another leads to 30, and I haven't finished. <laughs> when I see children's faces light up, one of the things I think about is how it would have made me feel as a child. I didn't have a pleasant childhood, so I sometimes think that doing things like fairy houses is reminiscent of not having a pleasant childhood. And I must say, when I get up in the morning and I look outside and I wander around the garden, it makes me happy. The fantasies of life. The unexpected. Maybe there are fairies out there. We don't know for sure. <laughs> <laughs>